So it gives people an opportunity to, to dig out from all the snow. In fact, CBS 13's Linda Muma is live in Twainhar, where an unusual amount of snow fell through the weekend. Hey, Linda. Yeah, hi, Dave. Yeah, and we're not just seeing snow on the ground. If you take a look behind me here, you can see that there's snow piling up on the picnic tables here, as well as the benches. Even back there on top of the rooftops of some of the businesses and homes in the area. People here in Twain Heart tell me that it has been a few years since they've seen this much snow stick around. Michael Petraz has spent most of the afternoon digging himself out of the driveway of his home located just outside of downtown Twain Hart. Pretty much all day. <laughs> Pretty much all day. Other than coffee breaks. <laughs> he moved to Tuolumne County last year from the Bay Area and tells me he wasn't prepared to see this much snowfall accumulate in his front yard. Because this is like the second wave. The first wave hit like a few days earlier. And then so this second wave was just icing icing on the cake <laughs> pretty much. Other longtime residents, including this man who's lived just up the hill in the tiny town of Confidence for about 50 years, tells me this is the first significant snowfall he's seen in the last few years. Oh, I haven't been in town because I've been digging out. I, I snow plow my neighborhood just with a bobcat. And uh, <clears throat> so I haven't got out. This is the first escape for a while. He says a lot of people were caught off guard by the amount of snow sticking around. And with another storm expected to hit midweek, people here are tired of digging themselves out. That's what I heard. I might be uh, in San Francisco for that wave. <laughs> And you really can't blame him because he did have quite a bit of snow in his driveway. Well, we did see the sun today, and while we did see some of the snow melt off, as you can see all around me, there's still quite a bit of snow on the ground. So officials do want you to be safe driving as well as to carry those chains if you're going to head to the Sierra. Dave, will send it back to you in that warm studio. Good advice. Yeah, you stay warm out there. Try to, at least. All right, let's talk.